many scales, vibration underlies everything. Sometimes it manifests itself as sound. Sometimes as the vibration of electromagnetic fields. Sometimes the fundamental vibration of space and time itself. drains that rupture the space around them, causing gravitational ripples as these invisibly tiny and impossibly dense bodies create their throbbing rhythms, playing the very fabric of space as a drum. Classical Big Bang didn't happen in a specific place within an infinite void, or that it happened everywhere, because it was everything. There was nothing, not even empty space, outside of it. The mechanism that creates space and time does it nearly perfectly. But there are small variations that create these wrinkles in space and time that cause sound waves that propagate from the beginning of time. The radiation carries the imprint of those sound waves, which are the ripples from the making of the fabric of space and time. How did the universe begin? What did create space and time? We know the process is nearly perfect. They're only the tiniest wrinkles and ripples in space and time. They started out sound waves from the beginning of time heading towards us. But when the matter and radiation decouple from each other, the light speeds on, carrying the imprint of those sound waves to us so that we can reconstruct them and hear them today and hear the birth cries of the universe. And it comes down to the fact that it's quantum mechanics, it's the vibrations, it's the fundamental harmonic nature of things that actually causes it all to be linked together. Our age provides us with ever-increasing technological capabilities. New tools allow us to look farther out in space and further back in time. And the process is mirrored back onto us as we are thus compelled to reflect on our place in the cosmos. Rhythm is our connection to these cosmic accidents. In the beginning, there was noise. From noise, 
always came order. From order came rhythm. Through rhythm, we reconnect with the original cosmic energy, the Big Bang. Be one.